Hey Peter, I'm just uh, reading your question about uh, if Japan had uh, won the war, what would have happened? I think the way you phrased it was that if the United States or other major powers had not uh, engaged uh, in the struggle, what would have happened? I I think in a nutshell, I think that it would have basically um, played out like empire, so many empires before. Empire always seems to uh, to, to grow, uh, uh, reach 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 a, uh, 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 its its height height of empire, and then slowly uh, begin to uh, uh, recede, diminish, uh, uh, fall away, and uh, one day one day die. <laughs> uh, perhaps it's because of the difficulties of managing uh, resources and uh, bureaucracy uh, uh, far afield, um, especially when dealing with a uh, populace that may not want you there, especially depending on how the, on the way that, they're, that they've been treated. Uh, and, uh, and it seems to, uh, seems to be a pattern that uh, I can't think of a single instance in reading your question. I can't think of a single instance of empire. Is there any established empire today alive? I mean, you think of the Romans that are called the, you know, the, 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 didn't the Egyptians have an empire of sorts? The, uh, the, of course, the Mongolians, you know, the Mongol, the Mongol Empire, which, you know, one of the greatest ever, ever in history. The British, of course, the, the, uh, the Portuguese, I think they had, they had an empire of sorts, of course, right? The, the French, uh, even, even the, even the Americans to a degree. I mean, didn't we kind of, um, well, I guess we didn't really, we didn't really engage in that as, as much, did we? Although we, to a limited degree, I think the age of empire had kind of diminished by the time America was coming into its, into its own. And so I, I don't think it's because we had any better values or anything like that. It was just the uh, logistics of it all and uh, the Monroe Doctrine and all that kind of stuff, and the and we wanting to be on our own little our own little space. But the Canadians ever have an empire? I don't know. <laughs> the Canadian Empire? Why not? Yeah, we, I, I think North America was kind of exempt for that. Oh, I didn't. Um, Spain, of course. Oh, how can I miss that? <laughs> so. Uh, I think I think they're all pretty much uh, dried up and withered and, and gone away. Maybe we've we passed the age of empire. I would imagine that it had had the had no coalition formed, had no major power intervened in uh, in the uh, expansion of Japan. That eventually the uh, forces that uh, the domestic and uh, political uh, forces of domestic unrest and uh, political uh, challenge in maintaining the uh, uh, bureaucracy far afield would have brought it brought it down. Although I think Japan, being as efficient as the, the country as it is, it may have found great ways to use it, especially needing the resources that they did. But Britain was the same way. Britain's very similar as well. Look what happened in India. Good question, Peter. I think, but I think that's what happened. See ya. Woo.